good afternoon. I'm Marion Bamard, and welcome to your exclusive insight into next week. Another week of earnings coming up with Dutch brewing company Heineken on the radar for Monday. Heineken, the world's third largest brewer, is expected to report more than a 9% jump in Q2 profits. In fact, Heineken is trying to go big in the India market, buying up to 43% of stakes in United Breweries to have a larger reach with consumers across India. Heineken beat forecasts in the first three months of this year, pushing up shares almost 5% to an all-time high of 86.95, which investors are confident this season may be just as strong. Let's take a look at how markets stand as we head into the close. The FTSE 100 lower in afternoon trade, while the FTSE Euro first 300 relatively flat as well, despite that turnaround that we're seeing in the banking sector. And of course, Barclays jumping more than 8%. All eyes will be on the Bank of England next week with no expectations of policy change, but certainly investors will be looking for any signs or forward guidance, if you will, of possible action in the coming months. Now moving on, the controversial Hinkley Point project is facing more backlash. The UK government, which was meant to sign the contract involving French utility giant EDF uh, this week, wants to postpone the verdict once again. The $24 billion project with EDF has had problems from the beginning, with many suggesting the deal is not a good option for Britain. The aim, of course, is to build the UK's first new nuclear plant in decades. But now the surprise decision to review the deal comes after the board of French state-controlled EDF voted to move forward with it. EDF shares will likely stay under pressure today and moving forward into next week. Lots of corporate news on the way for next week as well. We'll be hearing from airline giant Lufthansa. The industry as a whole, of course, is in contraction mode with France's KLM recently reporting weaker earnings and, of course, BA owner AIAG that is also trimming growth plans. You know, many investors will be watching to see if the German giant follows suit. And just when you thought you had enough from the banking sector, HSBC, Sociogen, Unicredit, Standard Charter, and Credit Agricole, just a few lenders set to release their earnings as well next week. That's it for now. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at Reuters Insider. And of course, watch more videos online at Reuters.com. I'm Marion Bomard, and this is Reuters.